Am I right to assume that you just stole it from the hospital? I agree. It doesn't look so well. I hope you're prepared to do time for it. Are you aware of this? I didn't tell her anything. Enough already. Do you take me for an idiot? Is that how it is? Then go rat us out. I thought we could trust you. Just leave if you don't want to cooperate. The door is open. What? Are you being serious? Yes, I'm very serious. Let's go outside. Let go of me. Hey, it's fine. What are you doing now? You decided I can be trusted and I'm flattered. What about him? Can you explain what's with this paranoia? All this running around playing spies. I trust him, okay? Tatiana, you can see for yourself that he's unstable. What happens if he exaggerates things a little, for instance? And I'm really serious about the paranoia. Roman, I've known him for a long time. He's not crazy. Maybe he should take a break. I don't know, he could rest somewhere. And breathe. Maybe then he'll stop seeing killers everywhere. Pavel, are you sure someone was there? You think there wasn't? I don't know. You took me away so fast, I didn't have time to think. So I vented all of it. Okay. Let's say I'm really crazy. But what if I'm not? What if I'm right? Are you prepared to take a risk? Or are you just gonna dismiss me? You can't go to the city. Did you see anyone in the cafe by yourself? We've decided that you should go to the Grey Lake Preserve. You're safe there. It's a quiet place. You can't stumble upon it by accident. I'm sure no one will look for you there. You've been there already. Okay. Are you saying that we're supposed to go into hiding again? Hello, Nadezhda Petrovna. Hello, welcome. What brings you here? Just passing by. How's your husband? Fine. Wait, are you here because of him? But I do the dressings well, myself. Well, it never hurts to keep an eye on things. And another thing, can that guy stay with you? Even just for a few days? Our good doctor has been working too of hard. Of course they can. We have plenty of room. Come on now! Good thing it's dinner time already. I just made soup for all of us. Hello. Good afternoon. Thank you. By the way, Pavel, can you check on her husband while you're here? Sure. Tell me, will mm. you be sleeping together or what? Or what? Okay, if you say so. You didn't go to the hospital. I've asked the locals. It looks like she lives around here. I still need to check if she's Violetta. And what else? Well, it appears to be her. Mm. It seems everyone knows her there. There's somewhat a local celebrity here. Some even say she's got some kind of mental problems. What kind of problems? Well, how am I supposed to know what it's called? I'm clueless about these things. First, she believes she's eight years old. And then, she thinks she's 14. All the local kids know her. That's it. I'm in front of the house. Hello there. Hi. I'd like to see Pavel. What do you want from him? He's an old friend. I tried calling him, but he's not picking up his phone. I was told that he lives here. He's not living here anymore. Why is that? I can't tell. 
They collected their stuff and just left. I see. Did Violetta leave with them? I'm telling you, they left together. You know where? How should I know where they are? I have my own fish to fry. They just paid me for the room and they left just like that. Oh. All right, but did they leave any contacts, a telephone number? Are you having trouble hearing what I say? They're gone for good. Honestly, this is the first time I've encountered neuropathic pain like this. How intense is the pain? Well, a simple breeze can cause pain, and from what I saw, the patient even cries from a light touch. I suppose that's hyperalgesia and allodynia. Yeah. Even though women have a much higher pain threshold, this is serious. Okay, but have you tried transcranial magnetic stimulation? Yeah, and it didn't work, and neither did pharmacology. We are dealing with a thalamic syndrome due to ischemia of the ventral thalamic nucleus. That's why I think our only option right now is placing a permanent thalamic stimulator. And if you would recall what we did before, we performed a similar operation not too long ago and it somehow worked. Hmm. The first violin? Exactly. Well, from what I see, you have it all figured out. You can go ahead. That's great. You need to be very careful. There's medical equipment inside. Natalia told me that you helped her a great deal recently when she was in the hospital. Did she? I just checked her neurological status. It's routine procedure after trauma. Aside from that, she told me you talked about... Violetta. Well, of course. She's in mourning. And her death was not an accident. It was plotted. You know that it's human nature... to try and find explanations in everything. You think that... if you find the culprit, everything will finally make sense. But there is no culprit. And your wife... As a young woman, sometimes people have the tendency to just slip, fall, or worse, even go into coma all of a sudden. Or maybe just die. Did you come here to ask me what Natalia and I talked about when she was here? Are you trying to hypnotize me? Is that something you always do? Ah, uh, how this? Of course not. Does it annoy you? Well... <gasps> Don't forget that it was you who brought up hypnosis. Forget about it. Just don't even try to get into my mind. Heaven knows I wouldn't dare to. <laughs> Are you... afraid of me? Now I'm curious who instilled that fear in you. Natalia? No. Not her. So someone else then. Just tell me, whom did you talk about me? Are you trying to hypnotize me as well? <laughs> like I can do that. But thank you. Well, colleagues, that will be all for today. Good luck to us and to our patients as well. Good luck to us and to our patients. Uh, just one more minute, please. Everyone, uh, I'd like to remind you that we are installing humidifiers today. Wait a second. What genius came up with that idea? You know that a humidifier is a source of infections. You can't have that because bacteria love humidity. It came from the Department of Health, and you signed off on the contract as well. What contract? I don't remember that. Evidently, you had other things to worry about that day due to family matters, so I understand that you couldn't remember. Uh, here, there's your signature.
Well, what can I say? All appears to be in order, just this one here. But it will heal. You'll be fine. Hey, Doc. Hmm? They told me about her, you know. Oh, yeah? What did they tell you? Well, well that she's actually unwell and not all there. You should be listening to less rubbish. I want to hear from you. Do they allow hanky-panky between the doctor and the patient? I think we're done here. Roman, tell me the truth. Is it true that he did something? Or is it the girl? Well, he'll tell you himself if he wants to. He's not exactly chatty. And he never smiles. He's going through something. Let him stay for a while, to get some rest. Just don't tell anyone about him, okay? Who am I going to tell? Wild boars and rabbits? <sighs> Just call me if anything happens. <sighs> no chance. Our phone only works on that hill, and only if the weather is good. Then I'll stop by the day after tomorrow. If you weren't kin, I'd call the cops in just a heartbeat. Aunt Nadia, what do we do now? Someone will see us. Just keep your head down. I'll bring you something to eat. How's that idiot? He's still sleeping. Listen, maybe we should call the doctor, since he's staying here with us anyway. I don't know. I'm afraid Fyodor will get angry if we call him at this point. Don't leave the bucket this way. Or you might just stumble and fall. The house is old but warm. The bathroom is outside. I'll show you around and help you get familiarized. You will get used to it. Come in, please. Just feel at home. Your keys. The hot plate works. I'll bring you groceries, but you'll have to cook yourself. Get comfortable. Thank you so much. I hope there are no spiders here. Not exactly a penthouse. That's too much. To get in the mood, it's normal. Yes? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Where can I see the doctor for consultation? Uh, I'm a doctor. To the examination room, please. I get these headaches around noon and it's so uncomfortable. I think it's some kind of migraine. Reaction to the weather or something. Any head traumas? I had a concussion six months ago. Actually, a neighbor told me you have this, uh, Hotshot doctor working in this hospital. A newer surgeon. Hmm. He's a real genius, huh? He used to work here, but he left. Oh, no. What do you mean he left? Did he return to St. Petersburg? No, actually, he just left. Follow my hand, please. I see. But how can I find him? Okay, now try raising your head suddenly. Can you do it? Miss, I really need to see Andreev. Did you make up that story about a migraine just to ask me that? <sighs> <laughs> Look, you're a young and pretty good-looking woman. Don't make me mad, please. Are you threatening me right now? The hell with terminology. And the hell with Andreev, too. Let's be honest right now. I'm actually here to look for this girl. 
hey, hey. Where is she now? Where's Violetta? Answer me. What's going on here? I don't know. She just fainted when I got here. Tatiana. Tatiana, Tatiana. In a minute. Answer me, please. Is everything okay? Yes, I'm fine. Shh, 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 shh. Why did you lose consciousness? What happened? What was that man doing here with you? No. I'm fine. Nothing to worry now. I was just scared and pretended to faint. Listen to me, it was him. The man Pavel told me about. Who is he? My goodness, Tatiana, you're all what? It's a man who's looking for Violetta. Why is he looking for Violetta? He even showed me her photograph. Please be careful confronting him. He may be armed. Don't go crazy on me. Be careful, I beg you. Well? There's no one here. He left? This is really stupid. I didn't know paranoia was contagious. Making an incision at this moment. Access on the last, Fatisov is feeling good for sure. He set his eyes on the chief physician job. And what's that business with air conditioners? It's not air conditioners, humidifiers. Three-dimensional navigation is connected. Inserting an electrode right now, entering inside the thalamic nucleus. Semyonov is right. Humidity is nothing but trouble in hospitals. Mold and all kinds of nasty bacteria could ruin our operations here. Semyonov is always right. Too bad people realize it's too late. Anna, you've changed. You usually stay out of such discussions before. I usually do. I know that. It's just that I really don't like Fetisov. Don't worry. We won't tell anyone. The electrode has been inserted. This time, we can wake her up. Vika, 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 can you hear me? Vika. Yes, I'm here. Oh, that's great. Now we have to test if you feel pain or not, okay? Don't worry. We have everything under control to make sure that you're okay. Get ready now, please. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now about this. Pressure, 130 over 90. Let's lower it. Uh-huh. Does it still hurt? It hurts. All right. Vika, let's have a talk. Okay. Do you have children? Yes. I have two girls. Anya and Lita. Easy, easy, calm down, calm down, calm Please down. don't torture me this way. I can't take it anymore. You said you have two daughters, right? You know what? Your anesthesiologist also has a daughter, Aleftina. Can you imagine how happy your daughters will be when their mother comes home healthy and finally gives them a tight hug? Oh, if only. How are you feeling this time? It doesn't hurt. What a miracle! No, relax. It's just little old me. <laughs> but 
Pavel! Pavel, please help Theodore! He's in a really bad shape. He's just lying there moaning all feverish and I don't know what to do to stop whatever he's feeling. What's the temperature? About 40 degrees. I believe he should be taken to a hospital. But we can't. Why not? Are you hiding or something? Treat him here. What is this circus? What's going on? Hmm. <sighs> what the hell is going on here? <sighs> Get me scissors. What's this? A gunshot wound? Here. Go where there's coverage. Call an ambulance. What should I tell them? The patient has sepsis and fever. You can't do that! Have you lost your mind already? Please treat him here. You can't see how bad he is now. In two hours, sepsis will set in and he could die from it. Is that what you want? I told you, he can't go to the hospital. He hasn't done anything wrong, but they will arrest him when they see him. Should I call the ambulance? Bring me my bag, please. The number you have dialed is either switched off or is out of coverage area. The phone that you are trying to reach. You don't have to draw my blood. I'm perfectly fine. It was my imagination. It was just my nerves, okay? I'm still worried about you, okay? Now give me your arm. I said give me your arm. You're so stubborn. Why did I even tell you all the of this? You have dialed is either it doesn't hurt to check, so calm down. Area. Try again. It's hard to get the signal there. The number you have dialed is either switched off or is out of coverage area. I have to tell them this. Will you take me there? No. I won't let you. You're not going there. Who said so? I do. I won't let you go. It's just common sense. Just think about it. He might be lurking around here somewhere. What if he follows us to the reserve and hurt us? So what do we do now? We'll wait until tomorrow. Hold here. I'm going to accompany you, and we'll stay here with you. I don't want you to be alone in this place. You're all done. This sample must be taken to the lab. Are you scared? I don't scare easily. Good for you, then. I am scared. Of what? Of making a mistake. That I might miss something important. I'm scared of making mistakes. Oh, and Julia, I'll need distribution reports for the last quarter. You can ask Rolova about it. 
And please tell her to put letters of credit separately, not like last time, you understand? Also, I remember it's Jubilee who need to buy a present. Yes, that's all. Thank you. I'm all ears. You're so good. Does it surprise you? No. Well, I didn't notice it earlier. But why did the old man Aristov give the company to her sister? When you were much more competent. It's hard to notice something that's right under your nose. <laughs> Take a look at the financial model. Do you think I don't see what you're doing? You're so desperate to know about the witness I've found, so you're sucking up to me. Perhaps you're right. Or perhaps not. Fever is down. He'll come around soon. He's lucky the bullet went right through. It'll hurt like hell, though. Change the dressings twice a day, no less than that. Do you understand me? Tell her she needs to dump that guy already. You need to get the hell away from Violetta and she from that gangster. They're both nothing but trouble. Alright, if we're in a hospital, I'd test him for antibiotics. But I hope that everything will be okay. Thank you so much for your help. You should take him to the hospital. He'll die from an infection. Do something now or you'll regret ignoring my advice. He'll get better, won't he? Yes, he should be. Don't worry. Will you look after him first? I'm going to see Theodore then. Thank you so much! I really hate you so much. No, you actually hate yourself. Pavel. I'm so sick of you torturing me. Admit it. It's a good thing. That Marina died when she did. <laughs> Go away! <gasps> yeah! <gasps> Come on! Pavel. Go away! Burn me Leave out. me alone! Let me be! Go away! Leave me alone! Go! Pavel! What do you think you're doing? not working for me. They're all useless. Johnny, wait.
Are you asleep? No. Will you help me? You must drown me, okay? What? I'm getting worse. I'm getting dangerous. I must end this. Will you wait a second? End what? I see the dead. My dead wife, my son, my friend. They're right beside me all the time. It's messing me up already. My brain refuses to accept reality. My wife and my son are long gone. And suddenly I see that I'm with them again. It's driving me mad, Violet. I don't know what's real anymore. I'm so confused with my surroundings. Are you real or these woods, this river? I'm confused if you're alive or still in a coma. That's a real slap. Did you feel it? I'm sorry. Maybe it'll pass. You know what? I went through something like that before I went through hypnosis. She made me submerge in water, but it's not the reality. But in my mind, I have aquaphobia, like fear of water, even though I can't swim. Anyway, it helped me to get my mind together. And now you want me to do what? Listen, there's a medical explanation for everything. I need to be frightened again, almost to the point of death. No. In order to solve this, I need my oxygen to drop and my cortisol levels to the no. maximum. No, no, you've lost your mind and I can't do that to you, no. But I need this. Wait a second. What about hypnosis, like last time? Do you see a hypnotist here? I need to get better. I need to do this. When my father died, I used to see him everywhere, too. Not exactly visions, though. But I would see someone from behind my back. I thought it was him, because I would hear someone walk by. I knew he was dead, but I would turn around anyway. If you don't help me, no one will. How long should I hold you? Don't let go right away or it won't work. It's over. Havel, I'm here. It's over. Breathe. 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 Check the feeders. Visit the beehives. You always need telling like a little child. You can't do anything without me. Stop worrying now. Vasilisa. He's a good doctor. Trust him that he'll patch up your Fedor and he'll be fine soon. But as of this moment, you need to do something else. A breather. And listen to me. I don't want to see you crying anymore. 
Okay. Ita. I tried. Is it edible at least? Tell me the truth. <laughs> it's good. Could use more salt though. I knew it. I need more practice. Is everything all right? Touch it. Do you feel this? Doesn't hurt at all. How about now? <laughs> what now? <laughs> Get well soon. I'm excited to see you well. I'm always looking forward to tasting your muffins again. <laughs> good morning, Vika. How are you feeling? I'm good. That's great. Any dizziness? Problems with vision? Um, I don't think so. And my arm doesn't hurt a bit. Although my face tingles a little. Right or left side? Right side. That's nothing. It'll pass. Is that your mom's soup? The nurse said she could eat it. Sure, no problem. She can eat anything. We'll keep her under observation one more day. I'll bet her daughter misses her a lot. Oh. She sure does. She misses her so much. <coughs> How long have you had that cough? Since this morning. <coughs> Intubation kit to room seven. Please, nurse, help us. I can't breathe. Get out now. You have to leave. Please leave now. Get the emergency physicians. I can't hear breathing on the right. I saw rupture. Ventilation, quick. Ultrasound, she's coughing up blood. She needs ventilation. I'm going to do a tracheotomy. There's no time. Heart rate is 240. No, she's not breathing. This is such an unpleasant affair. She was gone before I could do anything, so... Perhaps a hospital-acquired infection. We checked her on arrival. I don't know, but I'll figure it out. I'll order tests, do an autopsy, everything. I'm sorry, but we couldn't do anything. We discovered she had pulmonary edema from fulminant pneumonia. Well, she's so young. I'm not even related to her, you know? She had no one in life. She only made up the story of her child. And I'm just a neighbor. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Vika told me if I try to invent a family and tell it to them, the doctors will try harder to save me and I will be free. But you didn't. And now she's gone. Like she never was here. She's gone. No one will ever drink this soup again. Andrea! Doctor! Did something happen? Yeah. It's Vasilisa. She's giving birth right now. Please help her. Give me a minute. <sighs> What's going on now? Vasilisa's giving birth. 
Are you going to deliver the baby? I'm not an obstetrician. I could really do without this. Hurry up now. Here she is. So... It hurts. Are the contractions real? I don't know. It hurts so much. How frequent? Uh, I think every five minutes. Bring me your first aid kit. Hurry up! How long has it been? What do you mean? Since the pain started? Since last evening. <laughs> I see what's going inside. Come on, come on, come on. Do you have hot water? Yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. Doctor's gonna help. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'd ask my girl. Easy, easy. Shh. <laughs> Just breathe. I think it started. Breathe calmly and deeply. <sighs> Let's do it together. The car is ready. We'll take ours. There's enough room for everybody. We can't go now. It's me who can't go, but she can. You should have told me she was in labor. Why did he have to wait until now? Theodore was not feeling well, that's why. Really? Good thing you're feeling well now. You are fully dilated, ready to give birth. We'll have to decide whether it will be here or in the middle of the road. Is she having twins or something? Huh? Nah, just one girl. Okay, this is more complicated now. Listen to me carefully. Your baby's head is here, and the pelvis is here. It's transverse in position. Well, is that bad? The baby is lying across, when it should be lying lengthwise. If that's the case, what do we do? We get ready. Let's get ready. Calm down, calm down, my love. Calm down, I'm ready. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right. The baby's not going to pass. If we do nothing, the uterus won't hold, it'll rupture easily. Let's call the ambulance. It won't help us, we don't have time. She needs an operating room and emergency cesarean. Can you do it? Me, a cesarean section? No, no, I won't do it. It's a serious surgery. I don't have enough hands for this, she'll bleed out. Maybe we can turn it somehow. I'm not a midwife. Try getting that damn mobile signal right away. Then search for internal podalic version. Got it. Wait up! How is Vasilisa doing? Well, she's fine for now. The water hasn't broken uh, yet. Lucky for us, we have you right here with us. You'll have Vasilisa, right? You can do it. You're supposed to be some kind of big shot. Yeah, real lucky. Um, it's okay. My grandma gave birth <clears throat> in the field eight times. It's easy peasy. And how many survived? Easy peasy? Anyhow. Listen, doctor. If something goes wrong, like, if you have to choose between the mother or the baby, please save Vasilisa. We can always have more children in the future. Don't even say that. Each person is unique. Everyone. And it's not for you to decide who lives and who dies.
Oh, Victoria, copy over. Autopsy analysis, la la la. Lab results. Oh, nothing. Hmm, no more. No more. know her. All you need to know about the Legionnaire's disease. Bacteria prefer a warm, humid environment. They are typically found in water heating systems, fountains, air conditioners, and humidifiers that we use in facilities. It could grow rapidly and infect a subject. What I'm talking about. First, we must run these tests. What do you need? Okay, just go. Hello. I just have a quick break. Yeah. Okay, thank you. There's no coverage. So we'll do it how I remember it. I'm gonna say it out loud. It's easier for me that way. Watch her, okay? Sure. I'm right here. All right, don't be scared, Vasilisa. Everything will be fine. I'll put my hand. Okay, I feel the amniotic bubble. I'm bursting it. Okay, now I'm feeling the baby's head. Getting ready to spin it. Help me. Hold the head. Hold that. Okay. I'm going to stick the foot out now. Done? Yes. Is that a leg? Yes, we're dealing with a single foot length presentation. The leg there is normal. Come on. Come on, push. Push it more. Come on, come on, come on. Push, push. Oh, oh that's it. Good girl. The baby's born up to the shoulder blades. And now, with a washing motion, I extract the lower arm. I turn the fetus so that the back is facing below the uterus and you have to endure it one more time. Now I'm going to take hold of the other arm. Okay, and extract it. That's good. Come on, come on. Um, more. 